everybody, I'm Ashley and Kaino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to your daily taroscope forecast for Tuesday the 13th of March. So let's have a look at the cards for today. We have the Chariot, the Page of Fire, and Ego. Okay, so overview of the energy for today. It looks like good news is coming in. It could be some kind of recognition. Um, there's definitely a feeling of creativity today and just being on a mission, making your own project, whatever you're working towards, but also not being focused on the material goals, if that makes sense. So let's break this all down and have a look. So the chariot, it says, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So for me, just looking at this as a complete overview honestly yes this could be read as hey you're going to get some kind of recognition you're going to get some kind of promotion or a shout out by your boss or something and yes maybe it could be that but what I'm really feeling like this is is whenever it's saying an important achievement self-discipline and willpower I feel like it's you having like a breakthrough like you actually decided to sit down and work on something that's been within you for a while like you have all this creativity coming to the surface, stuff you've been working on or maybe hasn't come out yet. You've had all these ideas, but you haven't put in the work yet, if that makes sense. It feels like the achievement is you actually making progress today. It feels like you sitting down and making this happen like having to use your willpower, having to be like, okay, no more excuses. I want to do this. I want to write this book. I want to start this vlog, whatever it is. It's like applying for that job, um, looking at courses to go to school. It's like actually taking the action, taking those steps towards getting closer to achieving it. So with the page of fire, it's saying here, outgoing, creative, confident, and mischievous. And that's what I really want to focus on here. Yes, it says news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. I'm really focused on that last line here. Use your originality and ingenuity. I feel like this is just a day of pure creativity, of feeling confident in yourself, of being up to no good, of being like, I have some inner stuff here I want to let out. Just feeling like almost like an, your ch an inner child, right? Like a child just will be like, I want to draw this. And they go, they go to church with it. They have a great time. Like they just let it all out. I feel like this is you. Or like, let's look at an example. Have you ever seen Drop Dead Fred and they're making mud pies, right? Where they just bring in like the whole yard and like dump the mud on the table and they're pouring like milk and cornflakes. And in their mind, they're making like this big glamorous dessert, but really it's just mud pie covered in fucking milk and cornflakes all over a dining room table. So it's just like, being up to no good it's just letting out that inner creativity and I feel like honestly you're gonna have a breakthrough you're really gonna achieve something by doing this but the key is here for you to truly get lost in your creativity it's for you to let go of your ego so what it's saying here is a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things negative or fear-based thoughts I feel like for you to get truly lost in your imagination and creativity day, you have to let go of the, what am I doing this for, right? So it's very easy to sit down and be like, I'm gonna write a book and it's gonna sell millions and I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm not saying that's bad. Like, it's good to earn money through your talents. That's awesome. It's the best way to do it, right? And you're helping people at the same time. But I feel like for your creativity to truly flow today, it has to be not about that end goal of um, the material gain it needs to be doing this for your soul like your soul is crying out to like unleash look at this lady she's like in a cauldron it's like a magic cauldron she's unleashing all this magic she's like yeah having a great time that's what this is about just the enjoyment and being lost in the creativity and unleashing it into the world rather than being really focused on what this can get me it's just what it can get you is a fucking good time, right? Just enjoy letting it out. And honestly, I feel like it's just going to be a huge breakthrough for you. I think it's going to be an important achievement. I think it could be some of your best work. Some of your best ideas can be downloaded and come out this way. It's all about having that self-discipline and willpower and just choosing to not focus on the material gain that can come from it. Now, am I saying that you won't get material gain? No, I'm not saying that at all. Maybe this is for fun and it's never going to be for money. Maybe um, it is something that can make a lot of money. The point is just don't channel it that way just channel it for the sheer enjoyment the creativity and getting lost in it today because it's a really big breakthrough and don't be thinking oh what will people think that's the other thing about the ego card here right the ego is saying um uh, it's getting you focused on what people are thinking so don't worry about it it's like it's your creative project it doesn't matter what anyone thinks like it really doesn't if you look at the most famous artists 
like people didn't like their stuff at the time. <laughs> it's usually after they were dead, whenever people were like, wow, that's great. Like look at Van Gogh or Van Gogh, as they say in um, the US. Like look at all his work. He was completely poor his entire life and now everyone loves it and just can't get enough of it. So what it's saying is just like, don't give a shit. Just you do you and have a good time with it. Okay, angel message for the day. It says, ear chakras, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and from within. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So I feel like this is just saying get lost in your intuition, your intuitiveness, get lost in your creativity, and just really being in tune and in touch with yourself today and letting out whatever needs to be let out. That's for me what this is saying because she has such a smile of just like contentment, being at one with herself. And that in itself is a huge achievement. Your affirmation for the day, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. There you go, okay? That really sums it up is don't feel like you need to apologize to anyone or explain anything to anyone as the ego card is saying here. You do you, just have fun today and just trust that what you're doing in the moment is gonna be amazing. It doesn't matter about the outcome or anything like that. Just get lost in the moment. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Tarascope. Please like, share, tag your friends, subscribe, and I look forward to bringing your Tarascope tomorrow. Bye.